All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, how's everybody doing? Oh, look at you, Paulina. Good to have you here. Anwar, uh, fantastic. Paul Tranning here. Going to dive into doing some Photoshop compositing uh, using Illustrator and 3D. So I'm so thankful that you're joining me. I appreciate it. Fantastic. Flora, awesome, from Facebook. If you're joining me on, I'm actually live streaming to about uh, three different platforms. Uh, Facebook, and Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter through Periscope. So that's what's happening. I'm just glad you're here. And uh, let's go ahead and get started and keep the conversation going. I would love to hear uh, from you in chat, uh, honestly, just to make sure everything's working. And so I'm not talking to myself. Uh, Mar Mariana, awesome. What's up, Philip Flores from Portland? I'm leaving for Portland in um, 15 minutes, to be honest with you. So, <laughs> all right, let's switch over. Good to have you here. Uh, I'm gonna kind of dive into this, as you can see. Um, I've kind of already started this project, uh, but you can see what's happening. I'm kind of doing this cool, like woman that's kind of made of flowers and she's kind of disappearing uh yes uh and uh, disappearing and uh, turning into a bunch of flowers and branches and things so that's what i'm doing I, I started this a little bit ago uh just so you know i do have uh various um oh thank you philip sounds and looks good from there fantastic uh, I'm here in Denver where we're getting a ton of snow, and Philip, you're getting snow this weekend as well. So, Flora, thanks so much for joining in as well. So again, this is 3D, by the way, so you can see right down here, some of this is already set up, but you can see this layer right over here. It's just a 3D layer. I imported it from, uh, from Fuse, and if you're not familiar with Fuse, it's an Adobe app, and you should be able to get it right up here, Apps fuse just go down scroll down and locate it cc beta is what it's currently is but i can start to rotate this around so as actually let's turn off some of these other flowers and then maybe hide some of that stuff but again this is just a woman in a pose that i thought would be kind of cool uh to work with okay uh these assets on her by the way i just think this looks kind of cool i think there's some cool things we can do with it andrew in the house what's up buddy good to see you here fantastic yay so um how this is actually put together if i kind of twirl this down actually i don't even need to twirl it down i go to the 3d layer i go to the body material okay and for any um 3d object it's probably going to have a material associated with it. Sorry about, I got a little bit of a screening issue back there that I have to fix. But, um, uh, so all I need to do is select that, go to properties, and right up here, it's this diffuse material that I want to edit. So I'm gonna edit this texture, and you're gonna see where all these flowers come from. So, yes. That is what's happening. If you could join me on, hopefully somebody's watching via Twitter, uh, that'd be great. Again, I know Scott and Igor are liking this, but would love to uh, hear from you on Twitter. Okay, so some layers are missing. I get it, right? This is this project's like easily like a year old, and I've just kind of never finished it. <laughs> But you can see the number of flowers right in here that I'm dealing with. All I did is I used CC libraries, and I was using vector flowers, by the way. Uh, but now, if I kind of twirl this down, you can see all these various flowers and branches that I've been dropping in. Okay, so right in here, whether they're vector or not, and again, they were vector at one time. I'll drop in a flower right over here. Place it right here, maybe rotate it. And then I will use Puppet Warp. And again, this is kind of what I was doing last night as well, if you're watching. Puppet Warp. And you can see the structure. Add a couple pins to it. And then kind of adjusting accordingly, kind of having that wrap around and making it look more natural. Okay, if I turn on uh, di Distort, it'll actually get more distorted the further I pull it away which might be a look I'm going for. But that's what I'm doing right there. Done, apply, and that's how that is done. Saving this, you're not gonna notice much of a difference, 
but uh yeah andrea good to have you here awesome so thankful for you and everyone for joining me today so this is fun uh, I edited that texture, that diffuse texture, and just added a little bit. Um, I think it was kind of more toward her face, but it's going to load those up again, and we'll see those load in a second. Okay. But good to have you here. So again, using Fuse, let me we'll launch Fuse, just so you know what it allows you to do. It just creates some fun 3D, allows you to create 3D characters and then load them into other environments because again they're 3d and photoshop can accept 3d so that's what's happening here okay right in here this is how you if i just add matching parts is what i'll usually do right click add matching parts and i'll load in full-on sort of woman and then i can save that to my cc libraries into let's put it in miscellaneous Okay, that's what I'll do, sync it usually, and then from there, that's where I can start to, once I bring it in from CC libraries, I'm able to, let's go back over here. Again, here she is right over here, right? All man with a cape, why not? And drop them in as soon as they're in good old Photoshop, uh, I will select that layer And then I'll select the body skeleton because I've made this skeleton, thankfully, from uh, Fuse. So with that selected, I can go to the properties panel right up here, properties, and then I can change her to maybe, I don't know what she's doing. Uh, she's doing this pose, but I can change her to say sprinting, for instance, and it will load in that pose. Come on. There we go. Actually, I think she was already sprinting, but now she is on her hands and kind of doing a push-up. So let's kind of rotate her around. You can see what's happening there. Okay, not a, not not really a fan of that pose, uh, but that's typically the way I would work. And just like that. Here we go. Let's take a look at this one. Again, just doing some Photoshop compositing. Thanks so much for joining me. Philip, Mariana, Flora, Paulina, Anwar, Andrea. Uh, appreciate you. Hopefully the weather's nice where you are. It's kind of horrible right here. But again, now she's kind of like lying down. It'd be cool to have her lying down and slowly like kind of like turning into uh, flowers, which is why I've added this other layer, you know, like that and have her have these kind of flowers kind of come out from her like that. Again, that's just all I'm working on. Philip, I'm glad you like it. Again, just creating some fun art in Photoshop. Uh, I have Illustrator open. I, I was going to make a uh, sort of a snow version using some snowflakes, but I'm going to save that for another day. Um, again, whether these are vector or raster flowers, it'll all work just the same. You get the idea. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you testing this out and uh, just, just hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Just wanted this to be quick and I wanted to thank you for joining me. So everybody have a wonderful day and call your mom and make sure you brush your teeth and floss. <laughs> Yes, Eric Notsky had no idea. Wow, this is uh, made it worth it, Eric. If I could teach you something, that's crazy. But yeah, man, totally into it. And you need to try it out because uh, I thought you knew about this and everything else in the world. All right, everybody.